Okay, again, we're continuing our study of differentiating with the exponential function with another application, this time finding the stationary points of a curve. The curve here is y equals x squared e to the 2x. Now, what is a stationary point again? Let's uh, review that from the previous chapter. A stationary point is a place where dy dx is equal to zero. Okay, so a stationary point is where dy dx is equal to zero because it's where the gradient is zero. In other words, it is either a maximum point like this right there, that's a maximum, or it's a minimum point there like that, that is a minimum. Okay, so what do we got to do if we want to find the stationary points? We have to differentiate. So let's do that. We want to differentiate y equals x squared e to the 2x. And hopefully what you should notice about this is we've got two functions multiplied. We've got one function here, which is x squared, and we've got another function here, which is e to the 2x. And when we've got two functions multiplied, we need to use the product rule. So let's call the first function u, which is x squared. Let's call the second function v, which is e to the 2x. We're going to differentiate both of these. So u prime is equal to 2x and v prime is equal to 2e to the 2x. And then we want to remember our product rule. The product rule is v du dx plus u dv dx. Okay, so we're just going to substitute our values into there. So our v is e to the 2x. Our u prime is 2x. Our u is x squared. And our v prime is 2e to the power of 2x. And um, it's probably a good idea to factorize this, right? We've got common factors uh, available here. Common factor of e to the 2x and a common factor of 2x, right? So they're 2x and an x and a 2. So let's factorize that. 2x e to the 2x, big bracket, 1 plus x okay so we've differentiated the function now we need to remember what we're looking for we're looking for stationary points as we say a stationary point is when or where dy dx is equal to zero so we're going to set this thing equal to zero and so we've got two solutions we've either got the solution where this thing is equal to zero, that is one plus x. And so that will be equal to zero when x is equal to negative one. So one plus x is equal to zero means x is equal to negative one, okay? Or we've got another stationary point where two x is equal to zero, or to be more precise, two x e to the two x. When will that be equal to zero? Well, it'll be equal to zero when x is equal to zero. So we've got two stationary points. We've got one at x is zero and another one where x is equal to negative one. And um, we need to substitute these back into the original function in order to be able to find the y coordinates. So we remember that y is equal to x squared times by e to the two x. So we say when x is equal to zero, y is equal to zero squared, so that's just going to give us zero. And when x is equal to negative one, y is going to be equal to negative one all squared times by e to the power of negative two, because two times by negative one is negative two. So if we just simplify that, negative one squared is positive one, so we get e to the power of negative two. So we have got two stationary points. Our stationary points are the coordinate zero, zero, and the coordinate negative one e to the power of negative two or one upon e squared. Okay, and that's our answer. Okay guys, I hope you found that helpful. I'll see you again next time.